Hey everybody, welcome back to the 10th floor. It's me, Matt. Hi everybody, it's Kat. Hey, hi, hey everybody. Uh, happy Sunday. Uh, you know, he here we here we are. Just, you know what it is? The elevator's just slow. That's what it is. That's the answer. We pushed the button oh, yeah? 15 minutes ago, all right, and it just arrived, okay? It had to stop on every floor on the way down, right? You know, and then like plenty of doctors and patients had to get in and out as we were waiting here on the first floor to get all the way up to the 10th floor to start the show. And some little joker kid went in there and pressed all the buttons. All the buttons, right? And then like pulled the emergency stop so, you know, like <laughs> so so Jordan, so Portia could get in there and, 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 and wake Oz up from a coma. And uh, <laughs> all right, ago. a couple weeks ago. <laughs> hey, Judy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We, we got to figure out a prize for the first person. I don't know what it is, other than saying, hey, first person to the show, Judy, how's it going? What's the prize? Um, they get to pick the first topic. How about that? Does that sound fun? I like that idea. Yeah, Judy, you get to pick your first topic. You get to pick our first topic as we welcome everybody to the 10th floor. Uh, if you get off the elevator, you look to the left, you see the bench, you can see uh, Mason and Austin huddled in conversation. Where he's like, hey there, bro. I been Sylvester Stallone's cousin, really. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. He's got this voice. Yeah. I'm into it. I, I don't I, You know, we're not supposed to like him. And yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you look over to the right and you could see the nurse's station where Elizabeth's not there because she's in Monterey. You know? She sure is. And Epiphany's taking her MCAT and Willow is off, uh, you know, taking a lot of time off because she's ill. Uh, Bobby has retired. We just don't have any nurses left at General Hospital is what it's coming down to. Amy, I guess, is I around there. Where's Felix? Where's right. Felix when you need him? Felix is 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 in the closet banging Lucas off camera. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're so dirty, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, Susan. Hey, to Heavenly. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Julie. Hey, Sandy. And hello, James Lott Jr. He says, oh, happy like anniversary. And you said Julie, right? Uh, Ju Judy and Julie. Julie. Yes. Julie is our new viewer, isn't she? I, 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 I maybe. I don't know. It's hard for me I to keep track so. of, honestly. Julie, aren't you new? You tell are us. You Did you tweet us yeah. recently? Did I tell you about how to find our podcast Julie online? Julie just found us a couple of weeks ago, maybe even just last week. I don't know. Maybe it's her. Maybe it's not I Julie. Remember. It is her. Hey. Hey Julie, there, yes, Julie. You. I knew it. All right, Mom. I'm so, like, oh, so, I'm okay, okay, cool. okay, 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 okay. Right. Okay. So 59 years ago, General Hospital started on the air, okay? Yeah. And 59 years ago, you were not married to my father yet. No, sir, I was not. But you were several years after that. Yeah. And here we are. Well, 59 like... years ago, I was only two. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so basically, uh, you know, like 40 years ago or something, you got hitched to this guy. 42. 42 years ago, 1980 or something like that, right? 1980. Yeah. So you had an anniversary over the weekend. We did. We so, had an anniversary over the so weekend. So let's see. How, have you been married longer than some soaps were on the air? Were you married longer than As the World Turns? No. Were you? I don't know. <laughs> All the soap operas that went on the air post-1980 are now not functional. Okay, so you have been married for longer than a lot of soaps, like uh, like Loving. And Passions and stuff like that. That wasn't yeah. on the air. Oh, that's true. Uh, before Charles... Yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, JLJ says that uh, dad is handsome, so I guess it runs in the family, everybody. <laughs> Your dad is handsome. Oh, that's so sweet of everybody yeah. to say. And you are handsome, Matt. And yeah, your dad is handsome. I'll tell you part of the reason why he's so damn handsome. Good genetics. He has, he has light brown, like hazel <laughs> eyes that are kind of golden. He has really pretty eyes. And he's got a crazy amount of hair. You know, His if, if hairline's still way down here, he's got a crazy amount of hair. He always has. <laughs> Apparently, Bold and the Beautiful started in 1987, and it's still on the air. So there we go. That's that's the one that survived, just like your love. Look at that, Matt. <laughs> you were even born before that. I know. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Hello there. Hello there. That's an interesting name. Hello there. Hello there. We hope so too, but we're not going to get into it. Um, oh goodness gracious! So, so you went. You had a great time. You went. You went to. You went to some sort of. Uh, uh, I went to cowboy bonanza. What? 
Yeah. Okay. So what we did last night, and it was all my husband's planning. He did it on, he did it on the slide, which I love. Anyway, so we went to a thing. It had a, it has a funky title. Okay. It's called Honky Tonk Harvest. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's a funky title. Anyway, I told daddy when we walked in there, I just tell everybody what I said. Okay. It's maybe a little derogatory, but this is what I said. Oh no! I walked in and I went and I said, this is because it's all country and everything, but it was in a winery, so it's very swanky. Okay. Okay. It was swanky, but it was at a winery and saw country music and line dancing and stuff. And I said, Damn, babe, we came to high class white trash. I love oh my it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so you it was fun. You, you you drank a little a little a little wine. No, I oh, don't no. drink wine anymore. It makes oh. me ill. Oh well, hey, hey. I had one and a half seltzers. I had to keep it cool. I don't want to be all stupid. No, no, nobody um, does. No, because I've done it a couple of times. And I, it's not good. It's not a good look on me. Hey. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so there was a dude there. It was so hilarious, you guys. So there was a dude there. They had a a Wayne, uh, a John Wayne impersonator. All walking right, around. Well, little pilgrims. Exactly. Walking around with a six shooter on his on his hip and everything. Looked just like John Wayne did in True Grit. Anyway, the funniest thing was, he don't look a dang thing like John Wayne. <laughs> 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 I laughed so hard. And I said to the ticket taker, I said, dang girl, they don't look like John Wayne at all. I can tell by the costume that's who it's supposed to be. She goes, no, he doesn't, does he? I said, well, when you profile a tiny bit, she goes, it's a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's but it was super fun. It was. And it seemed like it was raining completely around that winery, but not there because it wasn't all an outdoor event. But it was super fun. And it was all local bands. Yeah. You know, nobody famous. Um, there was all local bands and it was a local winery in Lodi, California. So it was all, and, and the restaurants that provided food were local, like, um, you know, family owned businesses. So dad took you to Nixon Falls. Dad took me to Nixon. <laughs> Babe, I didn't think about that, but you're right. We went to that stupid festival you in went Nixon the, Falls. You went to the Nixon Falls Festival. <laughs> we sure enough did. Oh, Maurice Bernard should have been there with a cowboy hat. Oh, oh my gosh. And if I could have taken a picture of this dude, I would have, you guys. I would have. But I couldn't take it on the down low too hard, so I didn't bother. I don't want to take pictures of strangers and be a weirdo. But (laughs) anyway, you guys, he looked just like, I mean, I stared at him for a bit. I was like, no way that's him. He looked just like Ingo Rademacher. What if it was, huh? Just like Ingo. What if it was? I almost wanted to walk up to you him should've. and be a weird creeper and say, no, you should have, you should have and taken a picture and then, and then like somehow, like somehow, like, like, like hid like your middle finger behind his head or something, you know? It was so odd. <laughs> I mean, this guy was a, what do you call a doppelganger? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good he, one. He looked just like Ingo. And I even like said him. to your dad, I said, this dude over here, well, you, you, sh- you don't know Jack's that was from, your chance, you don't though. know. He don't know Jacks from a box of ch- uh, Cracker Jacks, okay? <laughs> Apple Jacks. <laughs> Apple Jacks. Anyway, I go, hey, babe, that guy looks just like Ingo Rademacher. You know, Jacks on GH. He goes, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You should have went up and talked to him. You should have found out because you could have brought Ingo onto the show and we could have been like, so Ingo, tell us all about it and just let him talk for half an hour. The ratings would have been enormous. The I, subscriptions I it, it, through the it, roof. It, you know what? If I had been, probably if I'd have been not with your dad, I would have done it. That's fine. It's fine. You were there to celebrate your anniversary, not not score and, us a guest. <laughs> that's right. I was there to, you know, celebrate your daddy. Yeah. He's pretty cool still. Uh, anyway, uh, well, so Sandy, we had a good time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Sandy says that Tamara Braun walks like John Wayne. Hey. You know, there's your GH. Can, I don't know. I never paid attention to how Tamara. So she got a little swagger, a little side swagger thing. She's just going, well, where's my Oscar? Oscar's got brain cancer, Bill. Grow. <laughs> I need to have another baby with you, Drew. Oh, and she did, huh? <laughs> well, she, but well, it's no, not she had it with Julian. Or so yeah. they said. Who cares? Like all of those characters are off in it now, you know, like I Julian's know. dead. She's in New York. It's weird that they gave her a baby to begin with. 
It is because I, I think sometimes they like to just keep things open ended where they yeah. can rewrite history because they're quite good at it. Well, yeah, or they, you know, they, <laughs> they, they can they can soar as the hell out of the kid and she can show up at, at you know, as like age 15. You know, Jake's got a girlfriend and it turns out to be Julian's kid. <laughs> uh, Tamara's too busy on days, a, says JLJ. A, a force, a force. Of course, the first thing I start doing is trying to calculate whether or not they're really related. <laughs> right it's so hard right? in general hospital there's so, so there's too you, many cross branching trees all right so what did Julie, james have to say what did you say there's too many cross cross branched trees i know it's like they're like one of those it's like one of those trees that like one this is apricots this is nectarines and over here is peaches and it's the same tree and then there's like spencer who comes out as like a, as a as a nepricot you know yeah <laughs> just a blend That's of these fruits spends. Spencer is a Petri cross-section dish of Port Charles. Petri, <laughs> Petri cross uh, uh, Spencer is one family away from being like the supreme being of General Hospital. You know, one with like the superpowers and the ability to just make anything manifest. Because um, he's a he's he's a Spencer. Because mm -hmm. he's Nicholas's kid, right? Uh huh. He's a Cassidine because he's Nicholas's kid. Uh huh. All right. He's a Corinthos because he's uh, Courtney's kid. Well, he's actually Sonny's, a Corbin. He's Sonny's a Corbin. nephew makes him a Corinthos related. He's a Corbin. Well, Corbin, a Corinthos, Corinth same dang thing. Because Sonny's a, Sonny is a Corbin. So, boom. Yeah, he is. You're mm -hmm. right. Because he changed his name he to his mama's his last maiden name. name. You know, he's still, he was originally Mike Corbin the second junior. Or whatever, yeah, right? he took his mom's name. That's right. Yeah. Right, so but he's half Corinthos, but yeah, so he's oh, Corinthos, yeah. you know, Corinthos Corbin, you know, he's 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 of the family, all right. So he's yes. he's only a quarter main away, you know, from from being the supreme child, the one of all four. But since yeah. he doesn't have any quarter main in him, it doesn't work. You're Three right. or four ain't enough, which means that he needs to have a kid with a quarter main, and then boom, that child. Oh my god. And that child can bring about the really apocalypse. No one... That child would be the Antichrist. But he doesn't <laughs> have anybody to do that with. Not There's apparently. No... Not you know, listening. come out of the faucet, Ma. You know, it's fine. Oh, I know it, right? <laughs> well, no, he's too young for Brooklyn. <laughs> Daisy, how is Spencer a Spencer? Spencer's a Spencer because he's, well, I guess he's not really a Spencer because Laura married into the Spencer clan. All right. All right. You got me there. Legally, he's a Spencer. That's I guess right. it makes him a Weber, but that's still a powerful family. All right. Yeah. Right? Is she, right. is she really a Weber or is she not even really a Weber? See, this is where is it Laura? gets all complicated. Yes. Laura's well, not a gray. really a Weber. He's a gray, says JLG. There you go. It all falls apart there. Laura ruined it. <laughs> she did laura ruined it she's ruined my theory but at least the grays are a good family well so well, i don't Sounds know great. he got three ex-wives that he's scared of all of them so i don't know maybe ain't that great <laughs> well maybe not maybe not okay so we said that judy gets to pick the first topic and we have been rambling on about all kinds of nonsense and anniversaries okay, so... and stuff and judy said our first topic needs to be the hook all right all right so monday Mm -hmm. Is Cameron going to get hooked in the throat or something? I don't think so. No? You think he's going to be okay? Hey, Janet. I don't think so. I don't think Cam is going to get hooked. Could be, could be because, you know, Matthew and I are great story spinners. You can write, we want to write it. But Dan, we are wrong so much. We are always wrong. We, we remember when Ooh, Danny wasn't dead. I mean, that was the biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> well, who's going to get hooked on? Someone is certainly going to get hooked next week, though. Well, certainly. I mean, um, gosh, is it Cameron though? Is it Cameron? Is it Cameron? And is Jocelyn going to go? I can't date anybody ever again. I'm just as bad as Michael. You know, where where my lovers this just is, don't survive. I I thought hey, of this because you know how I'm, I'm always thinking that a parent's got to save a baby in the hospital. I'm always thinking that. <laughs> so Elizabeth's got to show up. Trina gets hooked. <gasps> Trina gets hooked. Oh my goodness. Okay. She has a rare blood type and they can't find that crap anywhere. AB positive. But, 
there is a certain beautiful, bald man in town <laughs> that happens to share that blood type. AB positive. <laughs> and Portia is forced to tell the truth because her daughter is bleeding out. Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, that would be, that would be the, 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 oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. I mean... She wouldn't have to do all this kind of deep parental matching DNA psychoanalysis stuff if all she had to do was look at the blood type. <laughs> well, you See, know, me, I'm O positive. All right. So I, I, I'm, I mean, it's hard, you know, I mean, well, it's easy. But what I'm saying is you wouldn't be able to take my blood type and stick it next to somebody else's blood type and say, ah, they're related. But with something rare. Yeah. It's a little more likely. <clears throat> you know why you're O positive? Because... You and your daddy, me and, my, me and your daddy are <laughs> both of us because <laughs> it would be literally impossible for me to be something else. Uh, <laughs> Trina gets hooked. I thought Cam says Carolyn, Hey, we don't know, we're spinning here. All right, what we're, we're doing spinning. is we're, we're, we're reaching into the sky and we're pulling out falsehoods and theory and stuff well, that I, may or may not come true. I find it odd that they would tease us with that on Friday. Because they teased us with that on the bridge. Yeah. And for them to turn around and do it on Monday, I'd be surprised. Unless that's what they were trying to do, is to pull you off the scent. Because, oh, Drew showed up. He's fine. He's okay. And then Cameron gets hooked in the temple. And Because, you know, they alluded, they alluded to Anna being approached by the hooker as well. And it didn't well, turn out to be true. It, it, was, it was Jordan being all creepy. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you never know. JLJ is A positive. That, that's, that's a challenging one, JLJ. But that means, though, that I could donate blood to you, sir. If you needed it, you can have it. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. I think the next victim is going to be the person on the jury. Maybe. Maybe. I would hope that the um, deaths don't continue to be characters that I don't give a crap about. <laughs> yeah. How about the juror that was... Um, oh, definitely. The foreman. The, the particular... Yeah, the... The one that was going to mm -hmm. make it turn out the way Mr. Corinthos wanted yeah. it to. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That yes. could be. Hey, hey, hey. You, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You, you, but the person different. would really die because we don't give a crap about them. Right. Right. You know what's funny? Something just hit my brain that I had completely forgot about in this very moment until right now. And it has nothing to do with anything, but it struck for some crazy reason. Did you know that Victor Cassidine killed Hayden's mom and we just moved on like it was nothing? <laughs> Well, that Victor, you know, yeah. I totally just, like, I just totally forgot about that. Oh, my God. I don't know why yeah. I was suddenly reminded, but I feel like that's major, and they just kind of did it, and we're like, okay. <laughs> you know, how General Hospital does all kinds of weird craps and put it in their back pocket, and they go, oh, yeah, what's in my back pocket? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I guess we'll bring that back up. Here it is. Like, Hayden <laughs> exactly. shows up, and she's like, hello, Victor killed my mom, and you guys aren't even talking about it. Luke, no, Luke, don't even care. Luke, Luke, what about my mom? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But still, nobody mm -hmm. liked your mom, though. It doesn't matter. I know, she's it shouldn't dead. matter at all. Anyway. Daisy thinks that it could just... be Amy. <laughs> what if Amy's well, that'd be funny as all get out, wouldn't it? And the it? jingling is just her voice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you guys... Her, her, yeah, her voice is very annoying, actually, on television. <laughs> it's so friggin' sinusy and whiny. Oh my god, we're so mean today. It's a little it's hard. hard. It's okay. Oh, we're t you know what, James? We turned shady. It's a shady <laughs> Sunday. Anytime you show up, show up into the cat into the chat, it's just shady as hell. <laughs> Sandy wants Victor to be the next hooked victim. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yep. But yep. I don't November think so. November 9th is the next hook, says Carolyn, with the, with the exact dates. See, here, here's, the, here's the struggle with the exact dates, Carolyn, and I'm going to warn you about this right now. Joe Biden on Monday could decide at 2 o'clock in the afternoon that he wants to tell the nation that he scratched his butt successfully today. <laughs> and then we, and then now the 9th is the 10th. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the election is on Tuesday, too. Oh, well, there we go. That's probably going to be. There you go. Good. <laughs> James Lutt Jr. is just ranting about how the hook killer is Scotty Baldwin. I don't know, or he's the one that's going to be hooked next. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. It could be Scott Baldwin, but Liesel gets. I hope it's not Liesel. I don't want Liesel to die. But if she does, I'm going to email Kathleen Gaddy and be like, "Hey, come on the show. Let's talk about how you died." Hmm. 
<laughs> well, wouldn't it be funny though? Because you know we had talked about Lori before, but wouldn't it be funny though if it's really not a woman? It's not a female. It's just it's just diminutive Rory Cabrera. He's just like I'm I'm slender framed. That's all. Or I just I don't know. Maybe the, he's got a Norman I Bates thing. Just wrong. That's it. Rory's also his mom because he's Norman Bates. That would be freaky. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm into it. Maybe Brit's next week. I don't know. Brit Brit was coughing a lot at, at dinner. I think Brit's gonna have to go to the hospital. Yep. I, I think that's where Brit's gonna go while she films Station 19 and and uh, Kelly Tebow figures out what treatment, she wants huh? to do. She's yeah. gonna go get treatment. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Rory and drag. Yes, that's exactly it, Sandy. Maybe it's Ryan. No, no, it's not Ryan. Ryan's gonna be too busy hanging out with Heather Weber and Esme and just being the super creepiest trio of all time. <laughs> I love it. The chat's are blowing up today. I love it. Uh, the hooker might be Esme's nanny. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know anything well, about Esme's I also, nanny. Well, I also, I said last week, maybe, maybe, maybe the hooker is Nell. Maybe it's Nell. That's how she comes back. Maybe it's me, and I didn't tell you. <laughs> this is me trying to get back at the Sprina fandom. <laughs> is Kelly doing both shows, asks Carolyn. I don't know. Um, I've never had a chance to talk to Kelly Tebow about her plans. Um, so I rely on just what the internet has to say about it, and I have seen that she is doing both shows, and I've also seen that she's left General Hospital entirely, so I don't know. We're just going to have to see what the future holds. Well, I'm sure, like, the the the, the um, 19 show doesn't have a bunch of stuff in the can ready to go on television, where GH does. Right, right. Um, Jakaria says hello. Hi, Jakaria. Uh, let's see. Nell has no connection to Trina. No, but she does have a connection to Jocelyn and Carly, and this could be a way to torture them some more. And she could torture lots of families at the same time. Because Trina because is well connected and part of ones now. More than just one family. I mean, she, she she was once that high school friend that went to Canada because she was just tagging along, and now here she is just in the middle of everything. Marcus Taggart's daughter, who I guess is returning to the PCPD. How do you feel about that? Oh, I, I hope that's true. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that they didn't that they didn't allow Taggart to say so that they that they had um a Curtis drop the news. But I'm into it. I'm I'm for it. I think that that well, that he Port said Charles he was willing. She didn't say that she wanted him. Huh? He said he was willing, but she didn't oh. say anything about wanting him on the force. Well, no, no, right? no. But he said he was even talking about going back to the force. So yeah. you know, I, I I'd be into it. I, I'm all for more detectives. Besides, Dante needs a cool partner. Can you imagine Dante right, and, and Taggart together as, as cop partners? I think that would be a really good detective pairing. Who gets Maybe. to play good cop, bad cop? Huh? Well, let me ask Judy. Judy, mm. you have something else to say about the hook? Do you have something you want, something else? We, yeah, you know, Judy. I don't want to close off your topic because we told you got to open the show. So. Yeah, Ju are, Judy. Are, are we think, good? Oh, actually, here it is. I think it's Rory and the ADA working together. Could be. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the ADA is his sister or something. Maybe the ADA was like, I hate that girl. I don't like the smell <laughs> of her perfume. I'm going to bribe this cop into <laughs> seducing her and taking her to Comic Con. Well, it could be the secret. You know, they've been so secretive about his family and not really gave him a family. So no. they could be angry about somebody that we've not had an opportunity to and, meet. And they were dodgy about now. Okay, so they were dodgy about it in a way that could be interpreted in either in, in factual or I'm I'm lying way. Because she's like, you never tell me about your family. And then he's like, oh, man, my family's no good. Or my family is, is boring. I, I grew up and I became a cop. My history isn't interesting. I, I don't want to bore you with regalia about going to high school. <laughs> Um, you know, which could be, uh, I, I'm boring, I'm bory, <laughs> or he's just trying to not talk about it. Well, the only thing he has said in, about his, um, family at all, and didn't really talk about the family, but his, but his upbringing is that it was a struggle that yes. it came from a family of struggle. Yes. He was not, he was not born with a silver spoon upon the mouth. Right. Like one that's, Spencer That's Castings. about all he said, right? Yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. You know, I don't know. It just any and he showed off his cop discount. Like, I'm gonna discount at the pool because I'm a cop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stephanie's impressed that Dante used his detective skills to figure out it was an old typewriter. Hey, see, when the PCPD wants to solve a crime, they can. <laughs> and uh, I just hope the hook story has a better payoff than the Liz story, says Nikisha. 
Uh, that's a good transition. Let's talk about Lisbon. Yeah. A little, 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 little Lizzie Weber. Yeah. I think her parents, um, have got to be the worst parents I've ever seen on daytime. Really? Yes. The worst. Yes. Worse than, worse than Adam Chandler. Because he never abandoned his babies. No, he manipulated the heck out of them and manipulated <laughs> their lives and everything. But worse, he than... overloved his parents. He uh, actually overloved his children and smothered him, but mm. in a Victor Cassidine kind of way. I'm trying to think of a you know. trying to trying to like is there is there is there uh, see Sonny shot his own son. He sure did. I mean, that was pretty you bad. Shut your son. You shut your son. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, you shut your son. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, that was like 20 years ago, ma. My that was a long time ago, huh? That was a long, 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 oh, long time ago. I need to get Lisa Love Sister on this show. She'd be so fun. I oh. do. Oh my gosh. Anyway, 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 we're talking about Elizabeth. All right, so the big question over the last 20 years or whatever has been, or 25 years has been, what the hell, Jeff, right? Mm-hmm. And apparently what the hell Jeff is trying to protect her, the, 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 the drugged and programmed Elizabeth from having these memories resurface about Rako falling down the stairs and not dying, but just mm-hmm. falling down the stairs. Um, uh, but how can, mm-hmm. how can drugging and reprogramming be the answer? It, it, I mean, come on. It's, it's not. I, I don't think that they're telling the truth. I, I, at least I hope that they're not telling the truth. Um, and if they are, that's really sad. Uh, what, really what it comes down to it, the content of the story, you know, it's, it, it, it leaves a little bit to be desired, not knowing where it's going. Yeah. The execution from these actors has been great, has been fantastic. I've enjoyed this trio. I think that they work well together. I think that the, I think that, uh, I think that um, uh, Denise Crosby's uh, care for her daughter shows through. I think that 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 there's a lot of genuineness in the looks and the face and the delivery of things when it comes to. I Carolyn. agree. It appears that Carolyn has not been the master behind master mind behind all this. She has just been the follower. No. Right. Um, and uh, it makes me think a little bit of, uh, you know, it's, it's totally not the same thing. So please people out there and my mother, especially don't think that I am comparing my life uh, to, 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 to this situation in any way, shape or form. But I had a pair of grandparents that lived on a mountain and didn't come down. And there was one that was like, eh, it's the choices we made. They'll be fine. It's cool. And the other one was like, man, this sucks. I wish I got off this mountain. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like Jeff and Carolyn might be in the same boat where Jeff is like, it's fine. It's okay. I've had 80 affairs. It's all right. <laughs> I've had 80 affairs. I have so many kids. Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabeth's okay. It's cool. Well, Carolyn, over the last 25 years, has been like, man, I want to go to Port Port Charles and see these kids. And Jeff's always like, nah, don't. Those memories are going to resurface, babe. Because I imagine he talks like that. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe, huh? I don't know. That's just what I was thinking about. Just when it came to the the performances, uh, Jeff seemed more terrified over these memory surfaces and carolyn seemed far more concerned about it you know because jeff was like oh we don't need to talk about it she was like she's remembering she's remembering mm-hmm. jeff mm-hmm. and then she slid into psychological mode uh-huh so uh the story though uh it's just it's just unfortunate that they and the okay guys the only reason why i find it unfortunate is because this is the answer to the 25 year question if this was a two-year question, I'd be less bothered, <laughs> you know? But as it turns out, Rago fell down the stairs, and they didn't want her to remember, so they sent her to Port Charles and never visited her again. It's just really, I think that the, what we, the, the, the term that we use in the writing community that I'm not a part of is anticlimactic. It's Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I hope there's more to it. I, I hope so. I hope so. Um, so. You know, 
Now, okay. I thought the coolest part about the whole thing so far, because a lot of it, and when she got there, doesn't make sense either. Why do you need to break in the house? <laughs> if you're going to have this big showdown. She was going to snoop around. They came, they they left. Okay, so last week, uh, Terry was supposed to distract So you think she was just going to go in there and she, not see them at all? Right. She was going to go in there, snoop around, see mm -hmm. what you can find, and then leave while Terry was keeping them distracted having coffee. But then Terry had to take a phone call about Willow's cancer. Yeah, I, I remember all that. And then Jeff and Carolyn left without saying goodbye for some weird reason. Uh, I guess because I just think that Elizabeth, and she has a reason to be, um, uh, Elizabeth is so confrontational and ready to fight. If she wants yeah. to do what wanted to do all that, why did she break in the house? Why didn't she just go and fight with them? She wasn't looking for a fight. She even tried to I leave, and then not. she was like, wait a minute, no, I'm not going to leave. We need to figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good, though. Well, I mean, the, 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 the performances were good. So how, uh, this is what I got to say. Mm -hmm. I hope it gets better. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that I'm disinterested, but I hope that it gets better. And there's just, I don't know, triggering by the Peter and the stairs making that. I don't know. It's just, it's just weak. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we got we this, before we get any deeper into this, we have to figure out the math here when it comes to ages of these characters because we are on the tenth floor. We are dedicated to getting to the bottom of it. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. We are dedicated. Okay. So it's it's been the question: How old was everybody for all of this to make sense? All right. And the linchpin, okay. the answer to it all, is figuring out how old Reiko is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So all of this stuff happened 25 years ago. Well, right. okay. Let's say 26 years ago because there was some time of them trying to program Elizabeth and get her to get over it before they sent her away. All right. Yes, so we'll say 26 before they years sent her ago. To Grand's house. All right. 2022. All right. Is the current year. 26 years ago is when all of this happened. All mm -hmm. right. Elizabeth is 40. So 26 years ago, she was 14. So far. It doesn't line up. Okay. <laughs> but, but we shouldn't even expect it to. <laughs> if you expect it to, you're going to be disappointed, right? All right. All right. How old was Jeff Weber when he left the show? 30? Yeah, I think he was supposed to be about 30. I would guess that. Richard yeah. Dean Anderson before he went to MacGyver, 30? Yeah, like 30 or, or not, not 40 for sure. Okay. Not forty for sure. Okay, all right. So if we say thirty, and he and he got Carol, he met and got Carolyn pregnant immediately with Elizabeth. All right, mm -hmm. that would put him at forty-four when this happens. Okay, that's not super old. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a forty-four-year-old right. Jeff Weber. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Finn could have been fresh out of fresh out of fresh out of med school, went straight into Doctors Without Borders. I don't know. Well, I th I that I think that uh. A beginning doctor would do that on, you know, especially someone that yeah, you know, someone like Finn. I'm just gonna go out there and change the world. I'm not gonna get yes, yes, down yes, to yes. Hospital. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. All right. So and we'll the say, way they have to rough it, you need yeah. to be young to do all that. Okay, we'll say he's 25. Okay. Mm -hmm. When he becomes a doctor, let's say two years into this, at the age of 27, he's married to Reiko. You don't have to know somebody for a long time. Right. All right. So he's 27 when he marries Reiko. Reiko in this flashback, she doesn't look 16, folks. No, right? she does. She looks like somebody who was in her 30s. She does. So as somebody in her 30s, it is entirely appropriate for her to have married five years younger and had an affair with somebody 10 years older. The math maths, folks. It makes sense. If Reiko is in her 30s and Finn is in his late 20s. Uh, Stephanie says that Finn is 52 via GH uh, Wiki. 25 years ago, he would have been 27. Boom. A boom. A boom. It works. It works. It does it works. work. It works. So I'm it all works, but it doesn't it. make it not weak. It's super weird. It's super freaking <laughs> weird. It's, it's wildly <laughs> strange that this is the direction that we've gone in. It is super strange that Elizabeth had this confrontation with Reiko. She went toppling down the stairs. Reiko then had a blood transfusion, which gave her the disease that killed her. And at 
there's a so how, how do we explain that um oh i guess someone had walked up to her her dad or something so so elizabeth pushed rako down the stairs rako fell down the stairs while struggling with elizabeth right so elizabeth follows it goes down to the bottom of the stairs to see her looks up she's thinking she's seeing someone that pushed her down the stairs because she doesn't realize she did it herself. Yes, but as it right. turns out, it was Jeff rushing out of the apartment yes. going, oh my God, Elizabeth, what have you done? <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it maths. It, it, I think it maths. I think it's it, it, it's just, it's it's convoluted and, and super weird. The weird yeah, is this, the right word. But. Okay, this is what I do like about it. Yes. Because historically with Elizabeth, this is a lot of what we get and it's something different. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth is um, always in a big struggle with a guy, a guy, a guy, a guy, a guy. And her, her, and her storylines typically don't go past the three boys and whoever she mm -hmm. happens to be um, touching at the time. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this time so she is, At least it's dead. not that. Yeah, she got her mom. I that. mean, her man is still involved. Yeah, you know, I... To tell the truth, I mean, I don't think this is a secret. To tell the truth, I love Rebecca. Mm -hmm. And I think she's done a fine job with Elizabeth. But I just don't like the character Elizabeth. Yeah, you know, she she, she had a rough go. Ah, she's a Pollyanna, too. Yeah, I know. You, you always say that. She's a Pollyanna. Hey, Elizabeth doesn't she have is. any friends because she's a Pollyanna. Mm -hmm. Pollyanna. Yes. Liz is the Black Widow, says Sandy. <laughs> the Hevelin uh, says General Hospital always rewrites history. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> a lot recently. I saw Twitter going off on, on Sonny, like being like, hey, Holly, how's it going? Um, when he should have been like, hey, Holly, here's a gun. And then like shoots her. So, like, uh, tell me what happened between them because I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't get that either because uh, his sister, didn't his sister pass away uh, when she had the spencer? spencer? I don't know. Was she drugged and poisoned? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, know, I, don't I don't know. know. Did maybe Holly make an attempt on her life at one point? I don't, I don't recall. I don't know. But people were being like, oh, what she did to your sister? How do you do for you that? You know, I, I, yeah, apparently I he did. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe the terrible repressed, repressed memory is that he accidentally knocked her down the stairs and she didn't die, <laughs> says Julie. You're right, Julie. <laughs> You're right. She didn't die. You're right. <laughs> You're she did right. Die eventually. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If she, I didn't even think about that. Yes, if she would have died at the time from the fall, yeah, maybe. But yeah. she lived. But hey, you know, Peter didn't die at the time from the fall either, and, he lived, and that's why Biz let him fall. out. We're, we still haven't figured out that Biz let him out of the freezer. And Biz did let him out. Holly poisoned the water, getting <gasps> and killing Courtney after birth. Oh. So they're like, oh, you, you just had a beautiful baby boy, Courtney. Here's a cup of water to wash down the just the experience. And she sips this water and then oh, dies because Holly poisoned the water hole. <laughs> I don't think Holly ever interacted with Sunny before that scene, said Jason Newsom. Hey, Jason, welcome to the chat. Coming in to tell us <laughs> that they never interacted, at least it's positive. I think Courtney died of the monkey flu caused by Holly, says uh, Daisy. Daisy Flower oh. 40 is our historian and, and, and perfect. No, she was sick when she was when she delivered Ju uh, mm -hmm. Spencer. See, there we go. See, this oh, is she what was we need. sick from being poisoned already. Because someone poisoned the water hole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Holly poisoned the water hole. <laughs> Now what? What That's was, Woody, she, was right? she a DVX agent or something? Like what? What was Holly's reasoning all these times? Yeah, why for being did Holly evil? do that? You know, because you know, because we have, it's like two thousand four to two thousand eight had just been erased in General Hospital. You know, because uh, Reese didn't die in the car accident, or Reese died in the car accident, and didn't come back to, to Port Charles. Um, right. Uh, Holly apparently didn't do all these things that she came back and did some terrible stuff and. Now nobody sees. Well, the to whole remember Monica or care. thing, you hmm? know, the whole COVID and Monica, a Monaco storyline just really messed up yeah. what they were planning to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. yeah, for sure, for sure. She got angry and had this toxic. Oh, okay, she was just angry. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. 
<laughs> I don't remember. Mama don't doesn't remember. love me anymore. I have to kill everyone. Are you guys like looking Charles? that up? Or do you really like remember all that Ooh, stuff right off your head? That's do a good you? question because we don't have a research department here right. like, on the 10th floor. I mean, and it would be great like if I could I lean like, over I'm and be like, Stanley, Stanley, I'm not look it up. To look it up real quick, you know, as we talk. Sorry, this toxin you... also killed Tony Jones. Oh my God. See, so Carly should be mad at Holly for killing the man that she slept with you know boom and you know lucas is and bobby should be mad as hell you know people should be <laughs> people should be lining up to stab holly like julius caesar all right <laughs> that's what should be happening it's the ides of march here in port charles when it comes to holly and she's just getting bladed i don't i don't remember her but like well. i said 2004 to 2008 seems to have been eliminated from the timeline here in port charles so Perhaps, perhaps. Holly took perhaps. Carly hostage. See, there we go. There we uh, proof you positive got, Daisy got, Flower. You are telling me all the all these different scenarios. I must not have been watching at the time, and I do have uh, gaps. Yeah, I mean, so this I guess this from is would be. I couldn't watch, and I didn't would, watch. This it. would have been when 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 my sister was in high school. So hmm. I don't know what you were doing at the time. Working. Working. <laughs> <laughs> always working convincing her to try to make friends you know normal stuff yeah uh, the should, i should have been able to watch i don't know I, i'm just saying with all that information though there's cannot be uh, there's no way i don't recollect all of that come on <laughs> you just were Holy not smokes. watching you just weren't watching um <laughs> the spencers were immune to the flu is it because the cassidines like poked them with like some sort of immunity or something because that feels like a cassidine move you know oh their blood <laughs> was the cure oh well, aren't they just the holy family of just righteousness <laughs> my goodness just uh, i've saved everyone says luke spencer as he <laughs> sticks a bamboo shoot in his arm and starts just spraying his blood all over port charles curing the disease one person at a time <clears throat> Gosh, man. Sure, that's not what happened. That's pretty gruesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I can see the links to Jeff and Carolyn, but I don't really like it. Okay, Stephanie, that's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I'm loving. I'm. Uh, Stephanie follows up. I am loving having the OGs having more screen time and Dante holding his own with him. Uh, Dante graduating up to being a legend of General Hospital. I guess we just sharing a scene like, with all these old farts. I like Dante. I'm Robert Scorpio. I'm yeah. going to kiss like you awkwardly, the, Holly. I like, the, uh, <laughs> I like the veterans being on there, too. I do. Did you I like do. Robert kissing Holly, Mama? I, I didn't hate it. I thought it looked awkward. I thought Tristan was just like, I don't want to I mean, it's a little mean, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh laurie agrees thank you laurie and it was a gross kiss it was kind of a gross kiss you know but it, it just feeds into what i was saying a couple of weeks ago when uh when when uh robert and diane had their love song mm -hmm. I'm like nobody wants to see that i'm happy for them but nobody wants to see that and here we are a couple of weeks later and folks nobody wanted to see that i wouldn't mind seeing robert and diane kiss i mean i don't you know not like i want to see them like swallow each other's face or anything, but <laughs> Gross. nasty, nasty. How long is Holly on? Asks Carolyn. You, you, you were asking us like we know this. You know, just these rapid fire questions about facts and figures and how long is somebody gave me on the show? I don't know. I don't know. A couple weeks. If uh if if Tristan Roberts Rogers is to be believed, she is done with her little arc. She's not. She's back in in England. Yeah, that's what so. that was a two or three weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So I don't. I think she'll be here maybe till the holiday or something. Yeah. You know, maybe through maybe through maybe through all I want for Christmas is you. You know. Yeah. You maybe. Know? Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, Christmas time is coming up in Port Charles, okay? And uh, that's always a fun, exciting time because they put snow on the set, okay? Everyone starts to wear uh, big, big, uh, nice jackets and gloves mm -hmm. in Los Angeles on that soundstage. Must be sweating their butts off. <laughs> Sonny's house always has a tree, and the quarter mains always have a tree. And then there's a janky tree that shows up in, at the nurse's station. 
<laughs> they get the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, so you know, Christmas, Christmas time is coming, and then the uh, but before then, the Quartermains have to have pizza. I mean, that'll be happening before you know it. They're filming that now, or have or did last week. You know. Okay, so now that you you know mentioned those folks. Let's talk about that pregnant one. Because oh, you want to talk about Willow? I put a note here, Ma. All right. We have to be nice to Willow. Okay. We have to be nice. She's sick. She's sick, Mama. She, hmm. She's got the cancer. <laughs> I know she does, but she doesn't have... <laughs> she doesn't have brain cancer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thanksgiving equals Edward's hymn. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Edward's what? Edward's hymn. Yeah, because they it's the it's the song. I don't remember what it's called, but there's a song they sing together, hold hands, and they do it in the foyer most of the time. Or maybe yeah, usually around the foyer. We love you. It, it's Edward, the, and it, it's a song that Ned sings usually. And this year I want Chase to sing it. What you, you want Chase to sing it? Huh? I just I yeah. just I just want my, my, my holiday nurses ball. That's the main thing that I want. Oh, I don't. Well, I don't. I, I think they're going to bring it back maybe for springtime. You know, I just, I just need, I just need, uh, I just need somebody up there just rocking around to Christmas trees. Oh, I like it. I like it, but I wouldn't want no couple of weeks of that at Christmas time. It's too much. Mix and mingling the jingling beat. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Judy <laughs> says, I'm sorry, Willow. Why were you shocked that your cancer got worse? Because she's a bad nurse. She wasn't paying attention. She's like, I'm a quarter main now. Oh I don't my have to pay gosh, attention to anything. See, that's you guys. That's the, part that, that's the part that doesn't make any sense to me. She should not be asking, why are you concerned? Why do we? Why? You, we've been waiting for you to be 12 weeks pregnant, girl. <laughs> Sandy you wants to know. Oh, it was just so silly. Sandy wants to know uh, why uh, Willow, how Willow became a nurse in three months. I don't think she became a nurse in three months because they dropped dialogue uh, for at least six about her studying to become a nurse. And we don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe she but had yeah. most of those college courses set up for when she became a teacher and it just was a short ride after that. I don't know. And well, you know, you're right. You're right. But how did TJ become a doctor so quickly either? You cannot become a doctor that quick. I mean, you know, he was a troubled teenager and then he was in residency, you know, it's, yeah. he was sorest <laughs> pretty much, you know, like they, they must have yeah. aged him when they, uh, when they changed the actor or something. A little bit. Yeah. If not yeah. aged him, really, really matured him. Matured him. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Willow dies to save her baby. I don't know, Carolyn. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. What if Nina dies to save Willow? Uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, I hope Chase will have left and, Michael for Christmas. And well. you guys, it doesn't doesn't it appear that she's going to let Michael go into that appointment and get told on the fly oh, by God. Terry? Yeah, he's going to be blindsided in the in the doctor's and, office. And Terry's going to be blindsided as well, not knowing that she's yeah. spilling the beans to him. Mm -hmm. I want you to. Be oh, there, see, Michael. you haven't so been I... to any of these appointments with me yet. But you have to come. I want you there. I'm getting so sick, Michael, and I don't know why. Is it because you have cancer? I don't think that's related. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Stephanie says, I love you, Mama Cat. We gather together is, is Edward's hymn. We are <laughs> together like ram la 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 a ding a ding a ding a dong I don't, I don't, I'm making that up. Together, together. Yeah, that's, yeah, I remember that. Ooh. And it's endearing and I love it. Is it really? It sounds cheesy. Uh. It is cheesy. <laughs> okay. It's, it's Quartermain Whoville. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Brooklyn. <laughs> who? All right. Brooklyn, uh, Bailey Lou who? Is, is, is that what we're going to get? <laughs> Bailey Lou who? I love it. <laughs> the Willow story is the worst, says Julie. She's been intolerable since she broke up with Chase. I don't know about intolerable, but just real dumb. Um, she, she, hey, you know, she fell into a really comfortable life where she had to stop thinking about things. She didn't have to. Not a worry in the world once Nell died. Not a worry in the world. And we know Nina's her mom. Well, yeah. But so does Carly. But um. She's actually actually showing characteristics of harmony. Just making these 
dumbass decisions. Just poor choices. Just poor choice. <laughs> I'm protecting my family. I can't wear me, Michael. You know? Like, really, I don't. What is not the yeah. point of not saying anything? I don't want him to worry about me. He's going to make me get chemotherapy. Well, how about you just talk to him? You know? Yeah. Don't make decisions for him. That's what he does. <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. Anyway, Ugh. I hope her baby's fine. I hope she finds out Nina's her fine. mom. The baby's going to be fine. Willow's going to die. Nina's going to be crushed. Uh, Nell will come back to life. And Michael's going to be like, and he's going to hate the baby. Well, the hate the baby part won't happen. But all of it you said before that, you could happen. What do you mean I'm not going to happen? What if, what, maybe that'll be a fun, different story to tell is where he's just like, I hate this child. Every time no. I look at my son, it makes me think of my dead wife and the fact that my other dead wife was resurrected and she's torturing me again and who happened to be the mother of my dead kid. I hate looking at this child. <laughs> Matt. It'd be interesting. Trying. So awesome Matt is so time, morbid. Honey. What do you mean, Stephanie? <laughs> what? Apparently I'm morbid. <laughs> No, you guys, he just goes off on these weird tangents and fantasies right, sometimes, weird. okay? Change, right? <laughs> this is my is son. Hey, you guys, this, right here, this is my son, Matt. <laughs> no, oh, we're, all, we're side by side on YouTube, I'm, aren't I'm, we? I'm, I'm, to, I'm to your left. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, there <laughs> it's my son. He's he's a little, he's a little Matthew. He's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, Michael oh. has three sisters and the fake one. It's true. It's true. So, <laughs> the three sisters and the fake one. That's so funny, <laughs> Stephanie. Because <laughs> yet Sasha. Sasha was the fake sister. Mm -hmm. and now she's she's pulling it together again. And now Gladys is going to have to die. And then Sasha's going to be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> well, how, what did you think about that little Halloween carnival? Did you like that? I, I thought the Halloween carnival was cute. I think their carnivals are always cute. I tweeted out because um, I was watching it on my phone and I had my headphones on. Mm -hmm. um, actually, so it's interesting because I, I, I plugged this TV back in, this TV right there, because uh, mm -hmm. I got myself a Roku from the, the, the CVS. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> mm -hmm. so I plugged that TV back in and I was watching GH and I'm like, wow, everything's so big and vibrant and there's colors. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> uh, I've been watching it on my phone for so long. Oh, okay. anyway, so I was watching it on that. my phone again, even though I plugged that TV back in and I, I, I was had my headphones on and uh, while while crew was talking, while Drew and Carly were talking about the, the SEC and he's like, ah, we can't, we, we can't tell anybody, <laughs> which I love you, okay? And even though we're so excited about being in love, Carly, we can't tell anybody, all right? And I'm not going to walk away from this. Okay, as as smart as it would be to just to just not do anything with you for six months, you know we're gonna do stuff at every possible opportunity and hope that nobody sees. <laughs> and while they're doing all that, um, they had this announcer, like this very soft announcer that you could only hear if you were like really like listening with some good audio. That was like, "Welcome everybody to the Port Charles Holiday Halloween Holiday Carnival." The, the the ghost house is open over in the main foyer. Come get your candy apples. And like this, they they had some dude record. I don't know who this dude was, but they had mm -hmm. some dude record a whole like, thank you very much to the Metro Court for donating the haunted hayride this year. Like, <laughs> I thought the, it was pretty cool. The, like the level of detail there, I thought was really neat, and 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 mm -hmm. just you know when people do a good job. On mm -hmm. subtleties that are really only mm -hmm. picked up if you're really paying attention. I don't know. There's just, I just, just feel like, like that, that requires special attention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it felt yeah. gross to see Nina with Avery, said Nikisha. You have to remember, Nikisha, remember Nikisha, that it was not this Nina that ripped Avery from Ava's womb, all right? That was a different actress. Okay. Yeah. That was Michelle Stafford. Cynthia Watros did not do those things there to four six eight. It's okay to hang out with Avery. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem to happen like that. Sometimes when a new when a new person comes on, yeah, the sins of the previous actress are not attached. Yeah, you know, took the, it, it took the character in a new direction. She's way less crazy. I mean, she's still nuts, but she's oh. way less crazy. You know. Yeah, she is way less crazy and way less just you know she used to be very unpredictable when she was 
Mich- Michelle Stafford, mm-hmm. very unpredictable and like goofy and like you know, ah, kind of person. You know what I mean? Yeah, God, she was great with Valentine. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. <clears throat> however, 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 did St- Stephanie? Are you saying that you thought it was? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe people thought it was cute. Oh wow! Hey, Carolyn. All right, I I don't. You don't push us to talk about Austin. All right, we'll get to Austin on our. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We can totally talk about Austin. We can totally talk. There's not much to say, so we can talk about it very easily. Mason's like, hey, you got to do this thing. And Austin's like, I don't want to. And the Mason's like, you got to. And he's like, ugh, fine. And then he goes and does it, and he comes back, and he's like, ugh, I did it. And Mason's like, good job. And that was Austin this week. Yeah. So (laughs) it's 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 another spin of the same dialogue. Yeah, yeah, they're getting the Marshall Curtis treatment. Uh, um, yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, General Hospital, you ought to know. You, you just, know, you know, we don't mind you taking know. your time. We don't mind you taking the time. But if you're not going to move the storyline forward, give the time to another storyline. There, there really is no reason to not move it forward. I, uh, I don't. Uh, at least I don't see a reason. Okay, folks, again, I've never written a soap before. I don't know what goes into it. I've never experienced it. I don't know what pressures are given to you by the network versus the Twitter base versus the actors versus every. I don't I don't know. But it seems like <laughs> you'd be able to put a little more detail into these conversations every time a conversation is had. Push it forward in some way. It doesn't have to be all the answers. No, you can stack questions and then start answering them. You any know? kind of subtlety. If mm-hmm. you're going to spend the time, any kind of subtlety, because, you know, I'm just, you and I, Matthew, we are just not that hard to please, really, when we, it comes especially to Especially us. Beautiful. When it comes to the podcasts out there, we're the easiest ones to please. <laughs> I mean, the easier one, the easiest out there is probably Max. But he's eight. He doesn't know what he wants. <laughs> he doesn't know what he likes. Well, you know, there are certain things that I don't like. There are certain things that I do like. There are things that I like more than others, basically. Um, so, Austin, yeah, it's just, you know, I, of course, I I still want to know who this person is, this fictitious person that are supposed to be so, so afraid of. I still want to know who it is. But It, it better be Miss Wu. Like, what? what's the point if it's not, you know? It, it's got to be something cool. If it's not something cool, why... Yeah, I mean, I, I it, it, and and if it's something new, why? I mean, no, just just make just make it Miss Who, just make it Miss Woo. And make we'll, Heather his freaking mother. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, cousin. Or should I call you by your real name, Franco? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Lars. We've been working together. You can be Stephen Lars. Victor Cassidy, he poisoned Maybe. the water, and now nobody recognizes. You for who you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, That's Austin. And we have another big, we have one more big subject to go, right? Um, Spinelli? No. Anna, Anna's arraignment, uh, uh, you know, lawyered by Scotty Baldwin. Uncle Victor. Wait, now, now, Judge, Victor this is clearly, clearly, clearly Anna's been set up for this. I mean, we could just throw this whole thing out because it's so obvious, right? And the judge is like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we thought thought that she, you know, we need to talk about Uncle Victor a little bit. We haven't really touched on Uncle Victor much. Oh, no, much. there's still so much we haven't talked about. We've been talking for an hour and talked about nothing. Yeah, pretty much, huh? <laughs> so Uncle Victor... I thought that there was a good chance that, you know, um, she was under his spell. Holly, you're talking about? Yes, Holly. Oh, was now, under Holly, I've learned this accent to talk to you better. Do you think she's being blackmailed or do you think that she is being brainwashed? I believe she's being blackmailed. Holly, you've got to do that. I locked you in this cave for years, Holly. I'm letting you out to kill, kill, kill. And if you don't, I'm going to snap the neck, the one you hold most dear, your baby boy, Ethan. Or Or. your former lover, Luke. Yes, or maybe even both of them. I'm going to hold them like this, both of them, at the same time. (laughs) Oh, goodness. Uh, I don't know. I mean... (laughs) 
All right, so in all likelihood, Ethan, Ethan, I feel like she would go to these lengths for Ethan a little faster than Luke. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> I think if it were Luke, perhaps she would look at, look, she would uh, approach someone for some real help and share. Yeah. 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 So where with Don't Ethan, maybe boy. she's, you know, a little more, I don't know. It's There's even, something it's I don't really think. I don't really think she's brainwashed either. I don't think no. you know she got a tarot card that turns her on and off like. <laughs> <laughs> I grew. No, 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 no. no I don't no, think no. that. Yeah. So no. Yeah. It's it's not. It's 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 Drew. It's not Drew. Yeah. He's got Drew. He's got the real Drew locked up, and she's worried about him. Uh, it's Ethan. It's Ethan. It's Ethan. If it was Luke, if it was Luke, that would be a completely different direction that this sh entire show is taking with the return of Luke Spencer. You know, um, I, I I feel like it's Ethan. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I mean, I get. I imagine we're gonna find out pretty quickly. I would think so. You know. Yeah, because, you know, like we said earlier, doesn't look like Emma's going to be on the show for yeah, It's like she did a month of filming or something, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that could be, pl I mean, the amount that uh, of content that they cram into a month of filming could be six months worth of content. But uh... the, only th the only thing that we might not, that might not make it true is, you know, we did hear about her returning to England. Three, yes. two, three weeks ago. That's what they alluded to. Yes. We and then Tristan Rogers on Twitter was like, she's done. She's not here anymore. Well, well, I was just thinking over the long uh, breaks they take that why wouldn't she be able to go home? It's the three weeks. Yeah. So why wouldn't she be able to go home? And then come on right back. And then come right on back. And come on right back. I you know, it's only, David Hayward is it's only a couple of days to travel, but it's also 21 days off. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm sure they could easily invite her back and she'd be happy to. So. And Nikisha says the only person she wants poisoning the water is Jerry Jacks. I saw him in a movie. He was in this movie. They killed him. But he was in this movie I saw. Sebastian Rocher. Yeah. He played as German. A German uh, demonologist or mm. something. I can't I can't do a German accent. I've tried my whole life. He had he I remember, you know, he always had facial hair. Mm -hmm. And you were making fun of Spencer's facial hair last week. <laughs> yeah. Spencer got a good old beard compared to what Jerry Jacks had. Jeez. It was always spotty and weird. Spencer's little But he always cheap, had facial hair. Things. I didn't get it gross and laura's back <gasps> we didn't talk about laura being a nun ma yeah <laughs> yeah it's funny that anna sent laura to help um to, to help him valentine yeah. but why should valentine why why would laura want to help him Charlotte. she's been mad at him more than anything oh, but i guess know. for just for the out for just her granddaughters yeah, her great granddaughter you know, you know no. charlotte Charlotte, 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 Charlotte's daddy. It's all Charlotte. You know, and if she could but forgive you know, Cyrus or no, she can forgive Valentine. I mean, I, I just know that Laura historically has not been a Valentine fan. No, 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 no. And maybe that'll come up in their little adventure together. And Kevin was there. I don't know how Kevin got there. Whatever. That was weird. But uh, <laughs> I thought it was weird, too, but it was cool. <laughs> yeah. I liked it. Yeah. And so they're like, let's get out of here. And then they get Charlotte and they're going to escape. And then Valentine's going to be like, you stole Charlotte from me, Valentine. Things are heating up. <laughs> <laughs> and they used the same child to play. Um, mm -hmm. Was yeah. the same child from the last time that's, she was. It's, it's the official new Charlotte. Mm -hmm. uh, Leslie Charleston may have retired, folks. That's where that's where Monica Quartermain may be. I don't know. There's no been no official announcement. Yeah, there hasn't been any kind of official announcement. You know, I wouldn't be surprised that she might make a couple of appearances um, during the holidays, and then they make an, an announcement that she won't be returning for twenty twenty three. Yeah, you know. I wouldn't be surprised to yeah. hear that. Cheryl wishes that Doctor David Hayward is a Dave, is a doctor working for Victor. At least some alleged dead people are being healed by Dr. David. Now, if GH were to go off of the air, I think that they should just rip right out of the All, for all, uh, all My Children <laughs> playbook and have Dr. David Hayward to resurrect a bunch of your favorite characters with his resurrection juice. Mm-hmm. It'd be super fun. And then, like, and then, like, uh, Anna, I need to introduce you to somebody that I, I, I stayed away from because I didn't want to poison her life. She had a, a hard enough go as a baby, Anna. But Leora's alive. She's in California. <laughs> I never told you because I didn't want her to get wrapped up in our drama. <laughs> huh? 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 
Huh? Why not? Yeah. Heck yeah, says Cheryl. <laughs> Well, we go, you know, if they happen to go <laughs> off the air, why can't we just, you know, I'm not talking about the storyline. I'm talking about the category. Mm -hmm. um, why can't we just ice princess it out? Yeah. You know, um, I, I so, <laughs> so, all right. I mean, it, it, yeah, I uh, go, go to your biggest story, your, 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 your thing, the thing mm -hmm. that made GH what it was. Ice princess, Luke, Laura, Mikos, Cassidines versus Spencers. Bring back ancient old Luke, have him back full time. <laughs> being bruce willis climbing through vents with a gun you know like just just yeah, yeah. just let him just let him do it with his weird haircut uh <laughs> uh kevin dies laura laura no. realizes that she loves luke forever tracy is like well screw you anyway and leaves and tracy's fashion like they could do it i tell you what if abc ABD, abc because of all the squabbles and the nonsense back then abc had all my children and one life to live kind of go off the air, anti-climatic yeah. and kind of weirded out <laughs> in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was and because Prospect Park, Vincent Irizarry, Irizarry mentioned it when we were doing all my children retrospective. It was, if it wasn't for the Prospect Park stuff, the endings to those shows would have been more solid. Yeah. There wouldn't have been a question mark. Who shot who? Who when did the gun come off? And then he also said the two years it took to actually put the the continuation on really killed the momentum as well. Go back and watch the interview; it was good. He had a lot to say. It, yes, it was quite good and it was quite fun. Stephanie says that she thinks the Ice Princess is what was in the safe deposit box, and that's what we said last week, where the Ice I Princess agree. was deconstructed and apparently reconstructed. Uh huh. As I this think, ruby necklace. I think, I think the Ice Princess is that necklace. Yes, yeah, Sandy, bring Angie and Jesse into Port Charles. See, go. They're cops and doctors. It's fine. Well, I'm just saying, you know, like I said, I just, uh, ABC, um, if if General Hospital is leaving us, you, you got to do a better job of conclusion this yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like the, unless you know for a fact you're going to Hulu. I mean. Oh, now. That's what I want. That's what I want to happen. If I mean, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a little scared for General Hospital right now. Um, and I just don't want them to go away. Yeah, we'll you see. Know? I mean, the only not, thing we could do with see. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's not like ABC or Disney is like we've lost faith, the faith in soaps. You know, it's it's still on. It has been on for so long and, and junk. So well, we we'll see. We, it's, it's, it, you don't know. There's no need to get bogged down in what ifs. When there's still plenty of shows. Well, to dig I think that's the truth. Boy, that's the truth in you know, all everything in life. Helena's necklace. Who's ooh? What sort of Helena necklace are we talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, they had all kinds of jewels and stuff. That could be a Helena necklace. Sam asked Spinelli to do the thing that I'm happy we finally asked Spinelli to do, which is get the dirt on somebody with your algorithm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gonna get the dirt on austin well i mean austin asked him for it and then and then sam also was like hey you have the perfect tool that we need to figure out what's mm -hmm. really going on with mm -hmm. cody i don't remember who they were talking about uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. um so yeah, you know you know maybe we're yeah. gonna get some some dirty secrets from spinelli's algorithm maybe the algorithm is going to be the david hayward resurrection juice that just changes everything <laughs> Well, maybe there's going to be some kind of big catastrophe on a timer. And Spinelli's algorithm is going to give the code. Yeah, you Turn know. <laughs> uh, there's Save a portrait the of Helena that she's got a necklace on. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't Perhaps. Know. I don't know. I don't Did you know. see it? No, that's just what the Hevlin says. Oh, well, could so, be. Uh, Sam wants Spinelli to I've check out Cody portraits. and Austin wants to see if he's a match with Maxie. So yeah, there's there's three people that this algorithm is about to be run on. Mm -hmm. And we're going to find out that, that Austin's a mob doctor and Cody's a cop or uh, Cody's a WSB agent and Maxie um, is not actually Maxie. She killed the original Maxie <laughs> and has assumed her identity when she was 15. <laughs> That's what we're going to find. Jesse Hubbard, the new cop in town, would be epic if only, if only Frank Valentini was interested in bringing characters from All My Children rather than One Life to Live. It would be amazing. But I heard that they're trying to bring Blair onto All My onto onto 
General Hospital, Ma. What do you think about that? You think you think there's room for Blair from All My Children from One Life to Live? I'm not talking about the actress. I'm talking about the character Blair. The actual Blair Blair. <laughs> Blair Blair. Oh well, she has been on GH before. Yeah. <clears throat> Why not? Why not? And if that's the case, then Austin's really Todd. I'm saying it right now. <laughs> Oh. Stranger things have happened. Well, I mean, so th anytime they needed a lawyer for a minute, they kept on calling what's her name from One Life to Live. Mm hmm. You know, the blonde yeah. lady. Yeah. Nora Buchanan. Yeah, Nora. Nora well, I don't Nora. And then the, the other one. Actress's name. The other one. I don't remember who she is. I don't remember it. Come on, Frank. you right, Cheryl. Come on, Frank. I know you're listening. <laughs> Bring back our favorites from other shows. I would like so to see anyway, Spinelli back with, Ma Ma with, back with Maxie, says Julie. I'm, I'm into that. So do you think that Laura and Valentine are going to successfully get her home and everything's, oh, and, yes. you know, and uh, Uncle Victor's going to be mad as hell? Oh, definitely. And then Marty Gray yeah. is going to have to, have to, have to, have to suggest that we make a deal with the devil, sister. There's only <laughs> one person around here that's got the experience with the criminal mastermind that's going to be able to keep us one step ahead of Victor this time around. <laughs> And he's in Pittenville right now with your nephew. Well, with your grandson, Spencer. Spencer. We're going to have to ask Cyrus what to do. I can't think of any other way. But when it comes down to family, Laura, I know he's going to be there for us. You're hilarious, man. I can't wait. <laughs> Very I can't wait. good. I can't wait. <laughs> Like, I don't know, Daisy. I don't want Cody to be a thief. I don't want him to be a jewel thief. Subscribe, you guys. <laughs> it's been so treaded on before, too many times before. You know, secret cop was you know Dante. You know, Dante was the last secret cop. Let's let's have let's have a new secret cop. I'm into that more than a jewel thief. That's all. That's all. Me too. That's what I'd rather Cody be. Liza I I, can't, I actually kind of want Cody to be a good guy with some grit to him. I do. Yeah. But you know. You know, especially if Britt's going to be leaving. He's got to have something to do. Yeah. Something to do. Anyway, Ma, I think we covered it. I think so, too. We covered it. Covered it. It's All right. That's it. Well, shall we get on the elevator? I'm going to get on the elevator. You want to stay? You want to stay? Because I'll get on the elevator. I'll just, I'll just turn my camera off, and you can just talk to the chat. No, Even though you I can't see go. the chat, that'll be really interesting. You can just guess what they're asking you. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, now I think I'll get on the elevator with you, son. Uh, see, Nora Buchanan was 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 brunette lady, right? Was she in brunette lady? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was thinking of the Usually blonde had lady. Had hair about to here, you know. The, then then there was the blonde lady that was like her rival. I don't remember who she is. Yeah, she did have a rival. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been all she the was the one that was from Eterna, you know. Vicky, you know, Vicky wasn't her rival. No, I don't know. Whatever. Dorian wasn't either. I, I don't, don't know. I don't remember. I don't. I, well, I was not a one life to liver, you know, because I've got several lives to live. Oh, hey, oh, wow. Ah. Okay. I remember Todd, though, quite a, I, really well. Oh. And Blair, too. Yeah. All right. I'm getting on the elevator. I'm pushing the button. All right. Let's get on the elevator. Floor. Okay. Tia, <laughs> Tia, 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 or whatever. Liza, Eliza was on All My Children, Cheryl. She was. She was in love with Adam Chandler many times. And then her mother, Marion, married Stuart. Yep. And then Marion went crazy and Stuart died. And then got undied. Yep. Stuart. <laughs> all of that. We'll talk about All My Children again. We'll probably talk, you know, maybe maybe, maybe some sort of All My Children holiday special because it's, it's fun, you know? It's a fun oh, time. let's on... do that. Oh, Matt, let's do that. Yeah. Let's watch... Let's watch some. Let's try to find some let's kind of find some from some Father Patty O'Malley and some miracles that he yes. that he performed that Christmas. Oh, let's Natalie, I know the ghost. Your ghost misses your family so much you can peer at them through the window. Look how happy <laughs> they are, opening their presents on Christmas morning. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do That'd that. Thank fun. you, Stephanie. We'll have a great week. You, you That's too. gonna be. It'll be our holiday goofy holiday show. Um, warm eggnog. <laughs> Santa hats. <laughs> Tenth floor Christmas after it. dark. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Yeah. Get in your car. Turn oh. your radio. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do like that. You know, my mother.
check out that channel I mentioned. They showed One Life to Live holiday shows, too. I, I don't know, Nikisha. You'll have to you'll share it. I'll, I'll, I'll read the chat again. I, I don't catch everything. Anyway, <clears> folks, <throat> I'm going back down on the first floor. I'm going to get into my car. I'm going to turn my radio to previous episodes of the 10th floor <clears> after liking and subscribing. All right, subscribe to this channel and like this video and leave a comment once it's done. Because, you know, you can't comment right now because you're in the chat. But when I'm done, you can reload the page and be like, hey, this was super cool. You guys are really funny. I enjoyed every moment of watching this. I would watch it too if I were you. you know, things like that, you know? And, and, and so do that on the YouTube for us and stuff. Get us the 400 subscribers. We're almost there. We're almost there. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Turn your radio previous episode of The 10th Floor, which you can find all over the internet on podcasting apps, on YouTube, up until the beginning of last year, I guess. Um, in addition to Apple. We've been on YouTube a long time. We've been on YouTube for a year now, I think. Or like, wasn't it like, was it, it was like Christmas time, wasn't it? Because we made the transition pretty much when I, I mean, very shortly after I moved. Uh, no. Because we, no? no? Way after I moved? I don't remember. Because it's almost we started three at the beginning years of this we've been year. doing We this. started at the beginning of this year, and it is now the end of this year. So. Yeah, so we're coming up. We can anyway. Just look at how many episodes we have. What's wrong with us? I don't know. Who cares? It doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter. We're just rambling. We're rambling at this point. All I appreciate right. everybody hanging out while we ramble out of this ad stuff. Anyway, uh, so Apple, Google Play, uh, anywhere you can find podcasts, Spotify, all of that. And if you can't find it, reach us out. Reach out to us on Twitter. Julie did. We answered her, and now she's here with us live. So, hey, it works. Mm -hmm. Were you thinking of Catherine Hickland, Nora's enemy? I don't know. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Anyway. <laughs> Car. Avoid Victor Cassidy throwing you in a trunk. Yeah. Go spend some time with your families. I've been mad. I've been cat. And we'll catch you right here next time on the 10th floor. <laughs> Bye.